currently at the aesthetic clinic this is where i come to like get my facials you know i suffer from hyperpigmentation so this is where i come to get my treatments um currently sitting at the lounge this is what the lounge looks like but it's basic just a basic lounge so yeah i think i might just i might talk a bit about my procedure TikTok. I'm going to talk a bit about my procedure. I don't want to yell too much because there are people also getting their own procedures done. But I've, this will probably be my fourth clarity peel now. I know. I know. And I still suffer from a lot of hyperpigmentation, as you can see. Um, yeah. Um, I just hope this one works. I mean, they do work, but pimples tend to come back on my face. That leaves dark spots again. So, mm. this is the before. So, I will let you guys know when I'm done. So, we're about to start the process now. <laughs> pill that i did yesterday and show like an update quickly today's a monday morning so i am going to work but i quickly wanted to do like an update and show you guys how my face is looking a day later or a couple a lot of hours later so yeah this is what my face currently looks like um this is actually part of the procedure so, like i'm not scared so yeah yes i look horrible i am going to work like this i'm not shy i don't care i don't care because they already they know what i look like but anyways yeah i just wanted to show like a quick update this is my outfit for work if you care but oh shit oh this is my outfit for work it's this dress from pretty little thing it's very what's this show it's very cheesy no today is tuesday i got this procedure done yesterday on monday i didn't go to work yesterday so today is actually tuesday my bad is very cheap this is a very tuesday dress but this is my face that's the main point of this video this is what i look like so i'm going to start peeling probably tomorrow or next so that's wednesday or thursdays because you start what is this because you start peeling about two days after your clarity peel, so I'll probably start peeling tomorrow or next. Yeah, and I'm supposed to peel for four to eight days, depending on how strong the peel is. We should peel for eight days. So, anyways, this is the updated look. Hi, guys, good morning. Yes, I know. I know. I look disgusting. I know. Anyways, this is day three. Third day. So I always do a checkup like every morning, day one, day two, day three of this clarity peel process. So this is currently day three. It's morning. We all know I go to work. So I do this before I go to work. And this is what my face currently looks like. Mm. This is disgusting because it's, like, it's a pimple. But I don't think I can pop it. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, this is what my face currently looks like. You can see that it's literally dry, especially up here. But my face looks horrible. 
like horrible and i can't believe i go to work like this but it's fine anyways this is what i currently look like up close and personal um yeah i've put my sunscreen and moisturizer today this morning so yeah day three officially day five the fifth day after my clarity session um this is what my face is looking like i've been peeling a lot like i've been peeling a lot um from last night during the day yesterday so yeah this is what i currently look like mm. Mm. <laughs> um yeah yeah I've, as you can see i've been peeling here um yeah so yes i know i look like a monster everybody tells me i know but this is this is what i look like this is the process whatever <laughs> got to film like the past couple of days like the update of my skin but i'm sure like just looking at you you can see what what it's looking like um i decided to film this video without like any lotion on my face usually i would come here and put like lotion you know the recommended lotion soothing cream sunscreen depends on the time of the day but today i decided to come here without any lotion on my face just bare face i just had a shower so i decided to come here bare faced to show you guys what my face looks like without any lotion so this is currently i think this is a whole week later because i did this peel on monday last week and we're in the next monday of the next week so this is a whole week later so that this is the eighth day of my peel i'm supposed to stop peeling on the eighth day but i still have a little like just tiny just tiny tiny pieces of dead skin left so yeah anyways i know my face looks so dry like mm. okay i look very dry my face looks so dry but i didn't want any lotion here when i came to do this okay so you can see that i'm peeling here and the dark the the scars here actually didn't go i don't really know what that's about because i really have these are like my big problem areas as as well as my forehead and the scars here didn't go the scars on my forehead have calmed down a bit i would obviously still need to do another session one session is not just going to clear everything up just wanted to clarify that if i didn't um yeah i'm still peeling a bit um yeah just a bit not nothing too serious nothing too deep um i finished peeling oil on my forehead so that's a plus yeah so um this will probably no i'll probably do a video tomorrow and that will probably be the last video because i'm pretty sure by tomorrow i would be completely done peeling I'll do a video tomorrow to show you like an update what my skin looks like and stuff like that yeah don't excuse the way i'm looking it's currently i think it's 7 p.m or 7 30 p.m to 8 around that time so i'm currently tired currently just want to get into bed and sleep <laughs> but yeah anyways There's so many dry patches, but that's fine. I'll put lotion shortly. This is what I look like. I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Hi, guys. 
um so this is basically just an outro for this um, this video this is the final cut of the video the final clip i just want to show you what my face is looking like i said i was going to show you what my face is looking like because i'm practically done peeling just a little bit of peels at like my edge area but that's nothing to worry about so i wanted to talk about the procedure of getting the clarity peel done the procedure is actually it's pretty fast not fast but it's pretty fast basically you go to the clinic um they inspect your face for like previous like issues things like that um um i think you'd even see this in the beginning of the video but they uh, um, put some tiny droplets i don't know what they're called i'm guessing that like a chemical substance so droplets on like the spots you may have that hurts actually after the droplets they put like a chemical all over your face except your eyes obviously and your mouth but like all over this chemical could actually burn your face i've actually experienced it, um a bit of burns here and i'm not sure if they ever go but the next time i go back there i will find out um yeah this process actually hurts it stings so you, they give you a fan like a fan for the pain like to blow dry your face and things like to cool your face basically what else do i have to say about that so it stings a bit when they're done they so put a soothing cream on your face and you're good to go they would obviously give you the steps like post post peel like post procedure like the steps to take after the peel like apply sunscreen apply 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 sunscreen is your friend especially during the day apply sunscreen um apply soothing cream at night they give you obviously their own lotion so obviously recommended things they would give you that what else do i have to say you peel for four to eight days depending on your the strength of the chemical peel you got done i peeled for about eight eight days i would say i peeled for eight days and i'm still peeling a bit but it's just like light shedding like here light minor shedding so you can see that obviously my face is not spotless um i have done clarity pills in the past like last year and these the pimples like i started breaking out a lot okay so basically when i said i started breaking out a lot i just wanted to quickly clarify i don't mean that after the clarity pills i did last year i started breaking out a lot no i think i did about three clarity pills last year and then they were great obviously it takes time the first one i like the, the results were good but obviously i needed two more sessions to see like wonderful results which i did but months later i'm talking about months like seven months later obviously you would see like few dark spots coming back which is why you have to do updated like checkups checkups which is why i have to do checkups but when i mean i started breaking out a lot was be recently i had started breaking out a lot that is what prompted me to go back to do another clarity pill this year because i hadn't done one this year so i'm not saying the clarity pill made me break out a lot i'm saying i started breaking out a lot which is what prompted me to go get another clarity pill done because those breakouts were leaving a lot of dark spots on my face which is what led to the dark spots here here um before my first clarity pill that was about last year so i used to have dark spots but that's pretty much cleared up so um i would I'd recommend clarity pills honestly if you have a lot of hyperpigmentation they really help me a lot and they are still helping me because i'm definitely going to go back for another session um yeah so that's all i have to say basically this is what my skin currently looks like i still have a bit showing up here but it's definitely not as bad as it was obviously you need three at least three sessions to get the results you want i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope it was helpful and i'll see you in the next one bye lovelies